Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber of the Mobile Money Nation, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really going to like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. 2019 was a great year in the stock market. As of Friday, December 28th, the total stock market index or ETF, VTI, is up 28% on the year. And Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF, ticker symbol VOO, is up 29% this year. This means that if you invested $1,000 at the beginning of 2019, you've gained over $280 in the stock market if you had your money invested in either the total stock market index or the S&P 500 index. And that's not even including dividends, which would actually put you closer to a $300 gain for the year. At the end of January 2019, I put $500 into an IRA, an individual retirement account. And every following month, starting with February, I added $50 per month at the beginning of the month into that IRA. In April, I changed that traditional IRA to a Roth IRA. And I'll talk more about that in future videos of why I made that change. And if you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen that I've made posts monthly giving updates on that account. And as of December 30th, I added another $50 just to make sure I had 12 $50 deposits for this full year. So throughout the course of 2019, I've added $1,100, the $50 per month, 12 months, that's $600 and then the initial $500 to open the IRA, giving a total of $1,100 in deposits in 2019. This portfolio is now just over $1,300, which means we've made about $200 over the course of this year just by investing $500 to start through the stock market as well as our initial deposits, we have over $1,300 in this IRA. In 2020, I plan to step this up and I'm gonna make deposits of $100 into this account throughout the year. Now, I created this Roth IRA specifically for the Mobile Money Nation. So if you follow me on Instagram, you see that I make monthly updates to show the different gains and if there have been any losses from month to month. That way you can see how slowly and how easily you can start getting invested in the market just by following a few simple steps. So if you are interested in following that, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's at AJ Mobile Money, just like the YouTube channel name. And if you wanna to subscribe to my email list, I'll send emails as well with those updates once per month. That way you can keep up with the total gains and the current balance as each month progresses. Now question, if you don't have an IRA set up already, whether it's traditional or Roth, you can get started today. The brokerage that I use for this Roth IRA is M1 Finance. It only takes $500 just to get started to open the IRA. And then after that, you can deposit as little as $10 per month, per two week or one week pay period, however you would like to make your deposits. And it will automatically be added to the rest of your pie that you create. So a pie with M1 Finance, you can actually check out my tutorial video where I go over how to create a pie with M1 Finance. But a pie is essentially just a group of stocks or ETFs. So in the pie that I created for this Roth IRA, we have four holdings. There's the VTI, Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, the VOO, which is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. And then we also have the VXUS, which is the Vanguard International Stock ETF. ETF, and that basically includes any stocks that are outside of the United States. And finally, the BND, which is the Vanguard Total Bond Market ETF, and those are also US-based bonds. Now, the reason I chose M1 Finance specifically to create this Roth IRA is because it's a very simple app to use. There are no fees with their application and you can automate the deposits and the purchases of the stocks that you have in your pie. Now, throughout 2019, there have been applications that I've spoken about and in specific investment apps that are free to trade on. But not only those apps, now all of the bigger players like Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, E-Trade and Fidelity, you can actually buy stocks for free on those applications as well. Now, the free investment apps that I normally mention are Webull, SoFi Invest, First Trade, and TD Ameritrade, specifically ones that have an option where you can open an IRA. Now, Robinhood, which is probably one of the most popular investment apps among the younger generation, they don't actually have the option to open a retirement account, so that's why they weren't mentioned here. But now that many of the other bigger players like 
Charles Schwab and TD Ameritrade. And Charles Schwab actually bought TD Ameritrade. You can check out my video where I talk about that. You can actually get it started with any of these companies. There are so many choices to choose from. But I do like M1 Finance because I can make the deposits as well as the purchases of the stocks automatic. So I don't even have to look at the, the account other than once a month when I make the update post on Instagram. So if you're interested in checking out any of those platforms, I have reviews for most of those platforms and I'll put a link right above my head where you can click on it. And there will be a link in the description as well as at the end of this video. And you can also check out my website at ajmobilemoney.com. There's a tab in the menu that says AJ's favorite things. And then you, from there you go to referral links and you'll see all the referral links for the different investment apps that I speak about, as well as all of the other referrals, whether it's a cashback app or mobile technology, whatever the case may be. Make sure you check that out. Now, in addition to the investment apps that I spoke about, I'm actually going to go more into cashback apps and stockback apps, some of which I've already spoken about and I've been researching throughout 2019, mostly towards the end of the year. And these are apps that allow you to get cash back for all of the purchases that you make. So this is on top of any credit card rewards program that you may be a part of. There are credit cards that give you either cash back or they may give you points, points that you can use towards travel or hotels or even purchasing gift card. These apps are becoming more popular and the fact that you can actually stack multiple of these apps in addition to getting the cash back from your credit card, you can really get a lot of your money back from the spending that you're gonna have to do anyway. You're gonna have to eat, you gotta have to pay your bills, you're gonna shop, you might as well get rewarded for making those purchases just by signing up for these apps and pretty much automating getting this extra cash where you would have been spending your money anyway. So using these strategies, you can get anywhere from as low as 2% cash back up to even 12 or 16% cash back once you combine all of the apps that may be available depending on the store or the restaurant that you're shopping at. So coming soon, I have a playlist specifically talking about those cashback apps as I make those videos. So make sure you keep your eyes out for that. But the additional point of talking about these cashback apps is that when you can get additional money just for doing your regular spending, you can now use that cash to either pay down debt faster or you can use that cash to put more money into investments. And these are the type of strategies that I'm talking about and that I will continue to talk about throughout 2020 based on the things that I've learned throughout 2019. And with all of this technology, it's so simple to get started with investing. There's absolutely no excuse why everyone in America who has access to the internet, has a cell phone or a smartphone, and has any money to make any purchases, whether it's for food, clothing, maybe even paying your phone bill, all of these things are potential ways where you can actually receive cash back, cash back that you can use to pay down debt or invest in the stock market. And now with these investment apps where you don't actually have to pay for your actual trading fee when you're purchasing stock, but you can also buy fractional shares. So there are some platforms where all you need is as little as $1 and you can purchase stock. So there is absolutely no excuse for not being able to invest in the stock market. Now an alarming statistic is that over 80% of millennials don't have at least $1,000 in their savings account. 40% don't contribute to their 401k and less than 1% have more than $100,000 combined between their retirement and their savings. Now the first statistic is really alarming because as you can see from the Roth IRA that I mentioned earlier in this video, is that it only takes about a year of saving $100 per month to have $1,000 in savings. And with your 401k, it's really just a choice of deciding to put money in your 401k. And with most 401ks, they're gonna give you a match of 50%, 100%, or maybe even 25%. So for some people, you're actually missing out on free money by not putting money towards your retirement in your 401k. Now the $100,000, I can't help all of you with that, but I can get you started on a path to where maybe 10, 20 years from now, you have more than $100,000 in your account. No matter what your current budget is and how much you're able to invest, it's actually not that hard. If you stay consistent over time, you can do it. And that's part of the reason I created that Roth IRA, just to show how easy it is that you can build wealth 
and you can save for retirement and how that money adds up over time when it compounds with the power of the stock market. Every dollar that you put in now will help towards that goal. So let's work together so we can save money on fees, save money for emergencies, save money for our retirement, get invested in the stock market now. The more money we can save on our investments, the more money that we can get back on our spending, that means more money that we can put towards debt to pay off debt faster and more money that we can add to our investments in addition to our HSA, IRA, 401k, and put actual money in a traditional brokerage account once we have those maxed out. Given the strategies that I'm gonna talk about in the next couple of months, there's absolutely no excuse for not being able to get in the stock market because companies are literally giving stock away for free. I'm gonna show you how you can get that stock for free. So this was just a quick recap of 2019 to talk about some of the big things that happened in 2019, as well as talk about the Roth IRA that I created throughout 2019 and some of the things that I'm going to be talking about in 2020. So if you're not a part of the Mobile Money Nation, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching and let's start the year off with a bang.